Hello folks and welcome back again. So previously I have done some videos showing you how to add a sensor panel to the Fantex NV5 and also I did one on the Lian Lee Lancool 2 mesh um, RGB case. Uh, some slight modding done but everything that you see on the screens was all controlled by um, Ada64 software. But recently I've started getting this question and I thought why not make a video showing you how you can get animations on that screen inside your case. Stick around and find out how. Right, so up in this corner up here, what you're currently seeing is what I have on my screen in the, the inside of my case. And that is um, Ada64 that you're seeing running there. Uh, I'm not going to cover Ada64, that's a completely different video. And I've done it before, but Ada64, very quickly, the software allows you to monitor all the sensor panels, all sort of, the sensors, sorry, within your PC, graphics card temp, the CPU temp, so on, motherboard temperatures, and display it on this little screen. But for the purpose of this video, we'll be ignoring that. And I'll just shut that down right now and I'll show you exactly what's on the screen if you're not running Ada64. And that's it. It's just a bog standard blue um, Windows wallpaper. It's just the default wallpaper. Um, so just to let you know, I'm currently using Wallpaper Engine to control the wallpapers on my PC, but only for the two main screens in the front of me just now. If you've never used Wallpaper Engine before, I advise you to go and look up YouTube videos for it because it is a fantastic bit of software. I'm not going to go to the, the ins and outs of everything Wallpaper Engine wise, just this video will only cover what you need to do to get it on the screen at the bottom. But yeah, it really is a great bit of software and you will need it for what I'm about to show you. And just to explain a little bit about this screen, this is a, a very cheap screen that I bought from AliExpress. And I've done a video previously uh, up at the top corner again up here, uh, showing you how exactly I installed it into this Fantex case. But just to let you know that it's powered by a USB header, uh, an internal USB header in the case itself. And then on the screen, it also has an HDMI connection. So we've got a cable coming out the side of the screen, out the back of the case, and into the graphics card, meaning it'll show up in your system as an additional screen, depending on how many screens you've got. But in my case, it shows up as a third screen, and I'll show you exactly how it appears in um, Wallpaper Engine now. So basically, after you've downloaded the Wallpaper Engine, um, it should be a case of going down to the bottom uh, corner where your taskbar is and double click on the Windows Wallpaper, uh, sorry, the Wallpaper Engine icon and you'll be greeted by a screen like this and it basically shows you the screen setup that uh, you should have. Now, just to let you know, this is what they call like a grouped, uh, a group selection. It's basically my ultra wide and the screen that's on top of it. It's all grouped together so that I can show one image on it and it spreads right across the two images. But just to highlight, this has a blue border around it to show you that this is the active selection if you want to change that wallpaper, which we don't. Instead, we want to go down to this one down the bottom corner. So once you've got that selected, you should see here in the top corner, it's telling you that it's a 1920 by 480 resolution screen. Now it's up to you, you can go and download a video at that resolution, or you can actually use any video you want. Just might need a little bit of tweaking to center it, make sure it kind of looks good. But for this video, I'll show you one of my own ones that I use. So you click on change wallpaper. As I say, you can select any of the previous wallpapers that you've downloaded. But for us, we're going to go down to wallpaper, in, uh, wallpaper editor down the bottom left corner here. Should be greeted by this screen. And up here, we can create wallpaper. And you can see all the different files it supports, JPEG, PNG, GIFs, MP4s, and so on. So there's plenty of different types of files that you can use. For us, we're going to be using an MP4 file, which is one of my intro videos. I'll just head over to that. Uh, intro video, which is this one. I've made a copy just so I don't break it. And it'll open it up. Just double check, the info is correct here, and you're selecting the right file. file. And then click OK. And you'll start getting a playback in a video. So there's... There's tools in here for editing it, but I find basically whatever's in the center is basically going to show up on the screen. So there's a couple of tabs up the top if you want to kind of have a look through those. But I mean, once you get the video installed and you're happy with it, all you do is go apply wallpaper. And as once as you do that, and again, up top corner here, you should see on the screen inside my case, that is how that video looks. Obviously, 
depending on the video you use, you might need to do tweaking and stuff. You may have to crop the image, whatever, to actually fit inside the screen, but it's just as simple as that. Wallpaper engine, create your own wallpaper, drop a file in, hit apply wallpaper, and away you go. Simple as that. Any animation you want. Hope you liked this video. Probably lots and lots I've missed out. Um, if you've got any questions or if there's anything else I can show you, please feel free to ask me in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, I'll see you guys again soon. See you later on.